So I promised to show you how you can make your Modo available on Odo App Store. And the choice is left to you whether to sell your app or to make it free. If you want to sell your app, then it's important that you add price and currency to your manifest file. Your currency should either be in euros or in USD. That is currency either in USD or in euros. So, so once you add currency, that means you want to sell, then you should add the price. And you can decide to sell it for whatever amount you want to sell it. No, 59 point something. Don't be afraid to put the price on your module. So to be able to sell on Odo App Store or to upload the module on Odo App Store, your repository can either be public or private. If your repository is private, then you should add Odo as a collaborator. You come to settings and collaborator. Then you search online Odo. Once we invite Odo to your private repository, Odo will be able to read that repository. Once that is done, you have to submit your module to Odo and ensure that you already have an account with Odo. Because this repository is public, I will take the SSH URL because that is what is demanded here. And now we have it this way. Now you will notice in this description field, we have an hash 8.0. We have that also here, hash. That 8.0 you see is the branch name. If you are going to submit your modules to Odo App Store, your repository branch should be in versions. I have main here. If I want to submit this, I should have 16.0 because this module was developed uh, in Odo version 16. So I will have version 16.0. If I want to have this module in 17, I will branch out and create a branch 17.0. That is how Odo reads the modules that are available for a specific version. If I go to Odo App Store, this is the way Odo App Store looks, and I click on maybe this module, you see we have 16.0. This is only available in 16. Let me check another module. This is also available in 16, but also available in other versions, which is 13, 14, 15, and 12. You should ensure that your branch is in that format. Once you have that format, then you can submit whatever version you want to have here. So I have 16.0, then I can submit. Whether you are giving this module for free or you are selling it, it is important that you have images that describe your module. This module has an image here and it has these descriptions. Now, to be able to add this image, this image you already have because we added logo in our description. It has to be in your description and named as icon.png. Uh, as for images that I show here, you have to have a key in your manifest called images and it takes a list of images. You add the path to your images in this list. If you like, you can create an image folder. If you like, you can add it in the static and have a different folder called images or your SRC, whatever you want to. But if you want to specify the main screenshot 
all you just need to do is have an image with the name main screenshot dot png that's being dot png so when you have main underscore screenshot dot png odo will automatically read this as the default screenshot that you want to have and you see all these descriptions here you have to create it in the description directory and you have it as index.html most of the descriptions you have in the index.html are divided into sections and an example of this is from the CRM module you have a section you have a section you have a section and these are all the sections here I can copy these sections and you see how it looks like I will add it to our index.html file and I will restart the server then I will navigate to apps and search for this real estate here you see the real estate I will check more info and now you see we have description of the module here and this is the way it's going to show on Odo App Store we do not have these images and that's why we have this so you have to have a valid image here and the correct image will show up the index.html file was not added to manifest file but automatically Odo will read that file we watch out for that file and we do the necessary thing so I will do away with others and keep the first one I will delete this and I have real real estate ads add something from our description and just add it here then we don't have an image I can take a screenshot of this I will take the image and have it in images and it's like this then I can add the estate zero zero add it here let's see if the HTML file will be able to pick this up or we still need to add something to the uh, image source I will restart this and navigate back to apps check for the module information so this is not show up I can either add the full part of the uh, image file here or I copy this image and drop it in the description I will restart and refresh this now you see it's showing up here but if you don't want everything too clumsy here then you can add real estate add slash static slash crc slash images and I can do away with this let me restart this and refresh and we still have our image showing up here so I will be submitting this git repository but if you want to you can submit yours just ensure you follow the proper guideline you have vendor guidelines that you can check out 
and ensure you have the right answer to your questions. I hope this was helpful and I hope you've learned a lot in this course. I can't wait to see the modules that you'll be creating after this and how you'll be helping businesses automate their processes and making money from it. Goodbye and we'll keep in touch.